All right, I'll go ahead and jump in here. Um, let me just say with respect to the whole um, prison statistics and all that stuff, um, I agree. It, it's not a good argument, uh, you know, to say that um, atheism makes society better, makes you more moral or anything like that. Um, it actually is just a good response to people when they say that religion, you know, helps you be more moral, helps, um, helps uh, society or, you know, something of that nature. So... Um, you gotta kind of be careful with how you with how you use that, and um, you know also it's really hard to get the statistics because you know a lot of people either don't understand what atheism is or they don't want to own it or they you know it, it, it's actually um, beneficial to people to not be an atheist in prison as was kind of mentioned earlier because um, you know people who are religious get like you know, certain time out of their cells maybe to do worship or whatever. Or they get, you know, they get benefits. So it's to your benefit to say that you belong to a religious group. And that's actually why um, uh, humanists have been trying to get that uh, declared an official religion uh, as far as recognized by the prison system so that they, you know, can be humanists and get the same benefits but, um, you know, not have to actually say that they're Christian or whatever the case is. So... Um, Aside from that, um, okay, um, all right, I'm going to have to uh, kick it over to somebody else because my kids are not here right now, so um, I'm going to have to deal with that for a second. All right, yeah, I swear my kids know uh, what we're talking about here today, so they had to come down and join the show. Um, but anyways, I, yeah, I want to get kind of towards, you know, more into the whole secular parenting aspect of this, and as far as these studies that have come out, um, you know, they, they've shown things. Um, such as ch kids raised by more secular parents are less likely to be racist, they're more likely to be accepting of science, things of that nature. And obviously we have to you know, remember that this is all just generalizations. This isn't going to hold true 100% of the time, and it's not to say that all kids raised by you know, secular parents are better than all kids raised by religious parents or that you know, one's superior to the other necessarily. Uh, these are just, you know, correlations. These are just things that are maybe st statistically significant or um, trends that we can kind of, you know, see. Um, but uh, it's funny because, yeah, I mean, it seems that things are coming out in favor of secular parenting. And I guess it's not that surprising when you consider that, you know, the, especially with the political climate in the United States, that religious uh, fundamentalism, the more religious you are, it's really tied to your politics. You know, the religious right has really firmly aligned themselves with the conservative movement, with, like, the Republican Party. So just because of that, you're probably going to be a lot more likely to be, you know, skeptical of global warming, for instance, or maybe think that evolution isn't true, obviously, because you're religious. You know, not a lot of secular people are going to question the theory of evolution. So you can kind of understand why this would be the case. Um, but, it, it, you know, even... Given the fact that, you know, it seems to be that secular parenting styles are uh, preferable or, or generating, you know, better results, I guess, you know, it's not like we have a choice in the matter. I mean, <laughs> I, I couldn't lie to myself and be religious or teach my kids to be religious or raise them to um, accept the Bible or the Koran or any other religion as being true just because that produced better results, you know what I'm saying? So even if it turned out that like raising kids with religion actually raised better kids somehow, it's not like I could just you know go along with that just because in general the results were better. So I, I don't want to you know really point at the results of these studies or the conclusions that they're kind of drawing and say you know oh well that that's really a good reason, but it is it is it is good anyways. It's encouraging that it shows. Uh, better results as far as secular parenting and you know there have been other studies as well that have shown that uh, the more religious a, a child is the less likely they are to be able to discern fantasy from reality because they've asked them these questions and that was another study that we've discussed in the past too um, you know as far as me I have presently three children and uh, my wife is still Christian so we're a bit unique in that way and uh, the author Dale McGowan has actually written a book that came out last year called In Faith and Doubt, and he's also an atheist who's married to a Christian. And this book was kind of dealing with how you work through raising kids in this kind of mixed uh, belief system, you know, marriage raising kids. And as far as 
per, as far as I go personally, you know, um, I and I agree that uh, my kids should be learning about religion. Uh, it's not something that I keep them from, you know, because you can indoctrinate kids with, um, you know, secularism or atheism, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can, you don't want to do that. You don't want to indoctrinate kids to just reject religion out of hand without thinking about it. Uh, you want them to understand, you know, what people believe. So I want my kids to learn, you know, various world religions and what people believe because it's really important. And I know that Dan Arl makes this point too. Uh, he wrote the book uh, Parenting Without God, and he blogs on this stuff occasionally. And, um, you know, we were hoping to have him on tonight. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to join us. But this is a really key point, I think, because you don't want to, at least from my perspective, you don't want to keep your kids away from religion. You don't want them to not hear about it. Um, you know, certainly I don't want my kids to hear the message that, um, you know, they'll go to hell if they don't believe in God, something like that, because I think that's abusive. But I do want them to learn, you know, Bible stories or what people believe about the Quran or, you know, things of that nature, because it's really important for them to understand, for them to be well-rounded, for them to have a good appreciation for world politics and what other people believe, to learn about religion. And if you raise them right, how to question things, how to think critically, then they should come to the proper conclusions on their own. But, you know, let them ask the questions. If their friends are, you know, telling them about their beliefs and they believe in God or they're Christian or what have you, then, you know, talk to them about it. Ask them, like, well, what do you think about that? And do you think that's true? And why do you think that's true? And so kind of work with them through it and see if they can kind of figure things out. Uh, but also at the same time without, you know, guiding them too much. You want to let them be able to think for themselves. So I think that's really important. Um, you know, so I mentioned a couple of books that are out there from some authors. Dale McGowan also wrote a book called uh, Parenting Beyond Belief. So that's another resource for any parents out there who are, you know, looking for guidance on raising their kids uh, in a secular environment. Uh, so I think those are all good resources to have and, uh, you know, good perspectives and for people to be able to uh, decide, you know, really how they want to raise their kids without religion because um, I don't want to speak for everybody here, but I know that I was raised with religion and, um, you know, it took me until the age of 30 to really completely throw it off. And obviously I came out eventually in the end okay, but it was a long journey and, uh, you know, I had to I had to get there on my own. So it's really preferable if kids are raised to not be indoctrinated into religion, but to know how to think. And you know, and let me just close this by saying that if my kids chose to believe in religion or believe in God or whatever, that's their own choice. Obviously, if they were open to discussing it with me when they get a little older or whatever, um, that's fine. Um, but you know, I will discuss it and talk with them through. But if they decide in the end that that's their, that's their decision, that's what they believe, then that's their choice, and I can respect that.